so um, this is video two on our um, animal kingdom and we are looking at the vertebrates this is the animal kingdom phylum chordata subphylum vertebrata they have a backbone there are 45,000 different species of vertebrates and uh, these have all four characteristics of the chordates that we mentioned in our previous video. They have that postanal tail, the pharyngeal gill slits, the dorsal hollow nerve cord, and the notochord. So to give you an idea of what we're looking at, um, we go kingdom phylum class, so animal kingdom phylum chordata subphylum vertebrata. We're going to look at a couple of super classes. The agnatha are the jawless fish, and we're going to speak about those for a few moments. Then we're going to move to our superclass, nathostomes. These are going to be all the organisms that have a jaw. And then from our superclass, nathostome, we're going to look at our class chondrichthes, which are going to be our cartilage fish. Our osteichthes, which is has been... Uh, reclassified and, and we'll talk about its reclassification these are our bony fish but we'll talk about the reclassification of osteichthys when we get to those we'll be looking at the amphibians the reptiles the aves and the mammals starting off with the superclass agnatha these are jawless fish that's important for you to know agnatha means jawless fish lampreys and hagfish are the modern jawless fish that are still present. Um, when we look at these, uh, the lamprey is one of the organisms that in past we have dissected. Uh, they're filter feeders. Uh, a lot of these are parasitic. Um, you really want to look at their mouth area. Their mouth area is called a buccal cavity and it's equipped with teeth that really allow it to attach to a fish or to an organism, uh, a human swimming long distances can have this attached to it, uh, but it can attach to that organism and then feed. And so here you can see one of the lampreys and you can look at um, all of these teeth right along here and you can see that how it can attach and then it can scrape with its tongue and feed. And here we can see one attached to a fish. Um, but uh, these right here, again, are some of our basic um, animals. They are agnatha. They do not have jaws. Now, all of the other organisms that we're going to look at for the rest of the year are going to be animal kingdom, phylum chordata, subphylum vertebrata, superclass nathostome. Now, that means that every organism that we're looking at from here forward are going to have jaws. So these are more in line with what you think of when you think of animals. Some classes of animals are extinct, or at least there are no known living examples that we're aware of. One of these is the uh, placoderms. Now, the placoderms are extinct jawfish. Uh, they uh, are believed to have a very uh, thick armored plate system and very strong jaws. And so that's what we know about this extinct class of animals. And finally, as we move towards um, being more specific with our nathostomes, we will be looking at the, the fish, the birds, the reptiles, the amphibians, and the mammals. And so we're going to spend time with each of these classes going into detail, showing you some incredible characteristics and some just beautiful designs of these animals as uh, God created them. Um, one of my favorite units to cover is just looking at the beauty of God's design within the animal kingdom. So um, that's what our next videos are going to be over.